a warm welcome to everyone today we will do problems on ages we'll see some short tricks on how to solve problems on ages in just few seconds this video will help you all at the end of this video you will be able to solve ages problems in just a fraction of seconds so please kindly watch the video carefully and learn the short tricks properly so before going to the problems let me discuss the some introduction part a brief introduction so when we are talking about problems on ages okay usually what is given for example a is to b the ages of a is a and b are in the ratio 5 is to 9 okay so sometimes what they'll refer after 10 years the ratio becomes 6 is to 1 okay what they say after 10 years or they say 10 years hence or 10 years later okay the words like after hence later refers to future the ratio what is given if the words are after hence and later these words refer to the future ratio and always the ratio what is given whether it is future ratio or past ratio it always refers with present refers with present now for example a and b the ages of a and b are in the ratio 5 is to 9 so if it is given only like that it means that it is the present ratio okay it is the present ratio so after hence later and all refer to future ratio these words refer to future ratios now if it is said that before 9 years the ratio of a and b was something anything 3 is to 4 okay the words like before ago 9 years ago okay the words like before ago refer to past okay past tense so whatever we refer it is always with with regarding the present condition okay whatever is said before 9 years before 8 years means what from pre, from present they are going 8 years back or 8 years ago okay always referring with present okay now if at all nothing is mentioned if they say that the ratio of ages of a and b are in the ratio 4 is to 2 okay or 4 is to 3 then it means if nothing is mentioned if nothing like after hence before nothing is mentioned then it always refers to present if nothing is mentioned then it always means present okay so we should always try to from the problem we should try to know the ratio is referring what with present with or Uh, it is after 10 years i go 10 years okay so we should concentrate on the words and we should we should understand 
what exactly the problem is okay so if nothing is mentioned in the problem we should always think that it is referring to the present condition with this brief introduction let me start with the problems and directly try to solve the problems with shortcut methods okay first problem i'll solve it using traditional method and also shortcut method later on we will develop only we will use only shortcut method to solve the problems okay the first problem says that 10 years ago the ratio of age of amit and his father was 1 is to 5 after 6 years the ratio between their ages will be 3 is to 7 find the present age of his father so what they are saying 10 years ago okay the ratio of age of amit and his father was in the ratio 1 is to 5 okay so first we will solve with traditional method so 10 years ago what was the ratio of amit and his father amit is to father was 1 is to 5 after 6 years the ratio between their ages will be 3 is to 7 okay so if 10 years ago the ratio was 1 is to 5 then presently what will be the ages of a a amit and his father now let me take a as x a is age to be x then father amit's age to be x then father's age will be what it will be 5x okay so this is the ages 10 years ago so presently what will be their age it will be so to come to present condition we have to travel 10 years isn't it so that means what will happen from past age the amit's age will increase by 10 years so if it passed it was x years he was x years then when presently to come to present situation he has to come 10 years so x plus 10 will be amit's age and what will be father's age it will be 5x plus 10 okay so presently amit will be x plus 10 and father will be 5x plus 10 next what is the given information after 6 years after 6 years the ratio between their ages is 3 is to 7 okay so after 6 years later after 6 years or 6 years later means the same 6 years later amit's age amit's and his father's age will be in the ratio 3 is to 7 a is to father will be 3 is to 7 ok so to come to 6 years later condition they have to travel 6 years isn't it so if x plus 10 is the present age of Amit after 6 years what will be his age x plus 10 plus 6 and what will be father's age 5x plus 10 plus 6 ok so this is x plus 16 and 5x plus 16 ok so um, after 6 years uh, mid sage will be x plus 16 and his father's age will be 5x plus 16 and we know that after 6 years their age are in the ratio 3 is to 7 therefore amit and father is equal to amit is x plus 16 and his father is 5x plus 16 ok so this is equal to 3 by 7 ok now cross multiply what we get 7x plus 16 7 is 112 which is equal to 3 into 5 is 15x plus 16 3 is 48 ok then take numbers one side 112 minus 48 and 15x minus 7x so 112 minus 48 will be 64 
which is equal to 15 minus 7 is 8x. So, 8 ones are 8, 8 is a 64. Therefore, x is equal to 8. We got x is equal to 8. Now, what they are asking? The present age of his father. Now, we know presently father's age is what? 5x plus 10. Therefore, father's age presently we know it is 5x plus 10. So, we know x value it is 8. So, 5 into 8 plus 10. So, 5 is a 40 plus 10 means it is 50 years. So, father's age is 50 years. Okay. So, this was the traditional method of solving the problem. But it consumes a lot of time if we take x variable and all. Okay. To reduce our time, we can use the shortcut method. So, let me solve this same problem using the shortcut method or we can also say it as ratio method. Now, all ages problems, I will approach using ratio method itself. Okay, using ratio, how we can solve the problems. Okay, let me solve the same problem with shortcut method. Or we also call it as ratio method. Okay, now we know that 10 years ago, Amit is to father. Okay, 10 years ago. Okay, when I am referring to 10 years ago, I will write it as minus 10. Minus 10 means it is past value. Okay, so 10 years ago, their ratio was 1 is to 5. Then, after 6 years, see here, after 6 years, their ratio was 3 is to 7. So, when I refer after 6 years, I will write it as plus 6. Okay, so after 6 years, their ratio was is 3 is to 7. Okay, now, what is the gap between before 10 years and after 6 years? Now, for example, if my age is 10 years, so 10 years, uh, sorry, if my age is 20 years presently, so 10 years ago, 10 years ago, what was my age? 10 years and after 6 years, what will be my age? 26 years, isn't it? So that means the gap between this 10 and 26 is how much? 16 years. Isn't it? So, this gap we call it as the difference. Okay. Now, we, not only 20, 20, you can take any number. Okay. For example, if you take th uh, 34 years. Okay. 10 years ago, what was my age? It was 24. And 6 years later, what will be my age? It will be 40, uh, 40 years. So, what is the difference? between 24 and 40 it is 16 years okay always the difference will remain the same okay similarly so what is the difference between this 10 and 6 years it is 16 years 16 years gap okay or 16 years difference and what is the difference between the ratio 1 and 3 is two parts and 5 and 7 is also two parts in ratio, the difference is 2 parts and in years, the difference is 16 years. So, I can say 2 parts is equal to 16 years. Therefore, 1 part will be equal to how much? 8 years. Okay, see here, 2 ones are 2, 8 is a. So, 1 part is equal to 18 years. Now, we want father's age, isn't it? So, from this equation, uh, ra ratio okay 10 years ago ratio we know a is to f is 1 is to 5 okay so 5 uh, so if one part is 8 years we want father's age isn't it so 5 part will be how many years so 8 into 5 isn't it 8 into 5 40 years so five, 4 part will be 40 years okay but this age is 10 years ago because the ratio is 10 years ago ratio okay so presently to come to present condition okay present situation i have to uh, add 10 years isn't it therefore father is 40 years 10 years ago 
plus 10 years to come to present situation. So, 40 plus 10 is equal to 50 years. Okay. So, 50 years is the present age of father. Now, not necessary that you should take ago ratio only. You can take future ratio also. You will get the same answer. Now, let us see. 6 years hence, what was Amit's and father's ratio? It was 3 is to 7. Isn't it? Now, we knew that one part is 8 years. Then what will be father's uh, age we want? So, 7 parts will be how much? One part is 8 years. So, 7 part will be 7 into 8 which is equal to 56 years. But this is the age after 6 years. Isn't it? But we want present age of father. So, to if we want present age of father, okay, then what we have to do? We have to minus those 6 years. So, 56 minus 6 is how much? 50 years. So, we, if we take any one ratio also, we will get the same answer. So, within few seconds, we solved this problem. Otherwise, we had to travel all this. We have to uh, take x plus 10, x plus 16, cross multiply and all uh, do all these things. Then substitute the value of x. It takes a lot of time. But if you directly take ratio and uh, take the difference, you can directly solve it within few seconds. Okay. So, father's present age is 50 years. So, we will solve the same shortcut method for remaining problems and then it will be easy for you all to understand. So, let us go to the next problem. The ratio of age of father and son is 3 is to 1. 10 years ago. So, 10 years ago, okay, father and son's ratio was how much? 3 is to 1. After 10 years, ratio becomes 2 is to 1. So, after 10 years, this is 10 years ago. So, after 10 years means again 10 plus 10. So, the ratio will become 2 is to 1. Now, find the present age of son. So, what is the present age of son they are asking? Okay. Now, see here. What is the difference between this ages? See, to find the difference, don't take example like uh, now I am 10 years. So, before I will be 10 years, how much? After I will be 10 years, how much? Don't do that. Just add these both values. You will get the gap. Okay. So, 10 plus 10 is 20. So, the gap will be 20 years. Difference between these both will be 20 years. Now, difference between the parts is how much? 3 minus 2 is 1 part and 1 minus 1 is 0. Isn't it? But the parts are not equal. So, first we have to make the ratios equal. That is parts should be equal. These both parts should be equal. Since they are not equal, we will make it equal. So, how to make it equal? Now, 3 and 1. How, what is the difference between 3 and 1? 2. So, multiply it below with 2. And what is the difference between 2 and 1 here? 1. So, multiply it with above fraction uh, ratio okay then what will be the new ratio father is to son 1 into 3 is 3 1 into 1 is 1 now 2 into 2 is 4 2 into 1 is 2 now when you cancel with 2 again you will get back see here if you cancel with this with 2 2 1s are 2 2s are again you will get back the same old ratio there will be no change in the ratio okay but we have to make it equal for us to solve. Okay, if the parts are not equal, we cannot solve the problem. So, to make it equal, take the difference and then uh, multiply it with the uh, respective ratios. Okay, so 2 twos are 4, 2 ones are 2. Okay, so now check the difference. 3, minus, 3 and 4 difference is 1 part and 1 and 2 difference is 1 part. Now, both are 1 part. So, now... Difference in years, we know it is 20 years. Difference in parts, it is one part. So, one part, I can directly equate it to 20 years. So, one part is 20 years. Then what we want? Present age of son we want. So, any one fraction we can take. Now, this fraction is not in use. Okay. Now, this is the our real fraction. Okay. So, what will be the present age? This is 10 years ago ka ratio. And this is 10 years after ka ratio. Any one we can take. So, let me take 10 years ago ratio. Okay. So, 10 years ago, the ratio of father and son was how much? 
3 is to 1. Okay. So, we know one part is 20 years. Okay. Then sun is one part. So, directly I can say that one part of sun is 20 years. Okay. Then this age of sun is 10 years ago age. 10 years ago age it is. But I want present age they are asking. So, to find present age. Okay. I have to add 10 years. Isn't it? Present age of sun is 20 years plus 10 years okay we have to come to come to present age we have to travel 10 years isn't it so from uh, 20 years back his uh, sorry 10 years back his age was 20 years so now his age will be 20 plus 10 which is equal to 30 years okay so within a fraction of second using the ratio method we could solve the problem now going to the next problem The ratio between age of A and B is 6 is to 7. If the ratio between A's age after 8 years and B's age after 9 years is 5 is to 4, then find the present age of A. So, what is given? So, this problem we will solve it using options method okay options see, if we approach this problem using options method we will solve it very fast okay let me see that now what is the given problem the ratio between age of a and b is 6 is to 7 see now they are not telling whether past or um, future or anything they are just saying the ratio between age of a and b is 6 is to 7 means it refers to the present situation if nothing is mentioned means it is present ratio Okay, so presently A is to B is 6 is to 7. If the ratio between A's age after 8 years and B's age af before 9 years, A's age after 8 years means plus 8 and B's age before 9 years they are saying. Before 9 years means minus 9 is 5 is to 4 is 5 is to 4. Then find the present age of A. So, present age of A they want. Okay. Now, let me solve this problem using options method. Now, we know that let A's present age be 6x. We want, we are considered only with A. Okay. Don't think about B now. If A's present age is 6x, okay, let me tell. If B, then B's will be 7x. Okay. Now, we want A's age, isn't it? So, A's age means it is it is assumed as 6x. Okay. 6x means it is always the multiple of 6. So, from options, we should see which, which option is a multiple of 6. Now, from this, which one is the multiple of 6? 80 is the multiple of 6? No. So, option A is gone. B is multiple of 6? Yes. C is, no, 42 is multiple of 6? Yes. 50 is multiple of 6? No. So, two options got eliminated. Then, the option will be either 36 or C option 42. Okay. But we know one more data. Isn't it? What is that one more data? Ratio between A's age after 8 years. So, after 8 years, A's age is how much? 5 is to 7, 4 is they are saying. That means A's age after 8 years. A's age after 8 years. In ratio it is 5 parts. Isn't it? So that means after 8 years. Okay. After 8 years. Sorry. The A's age should be the multiple of 5. Okay, it should be the multiple of 5. Okay, now check again with the option. Now don't directly don't take, now already two options are gone. Now only these two options are remaining. Now don't take directly 36 because 36 is the present age. Options are present age options, isn't it? Because they are asking present age of A. So options are present age, indicate present ages of A. So, directly don't take 36. 
they are saying after 8 years we know that is age is 5 parts so after 8 years means 36 plus 8 okay it will be 44 now 44 is not a multiple of 5 isn't it so this option also got deleted now check the c option 42 plus 8 is equal to 50 yes 50 is the multiple of is multiple of 5 therefore we can say that 42 is the correct answer okay so 42 is the correct option so 42 is the present age of is present age of a okay now like this many such problems are there where we can solve directly using options method okay we instead of again taking ratio method it will be much complicated because the ratio what they are giving it is one a's age they are giving after eight years and b's ratio they are giving before nine years so it is not uh, equal isn't it so directly with options method if we go we can solve it easily okay so like this solving problems using options method also we will learn in the coming up problems so let us go to the next problem a is six times as old as b after 10 years the age a the age of a will be twice the age of c if c's seventh birthday was celebrated three years ago then find the age of b after 15 years so once you read the problem don't get panicked because it is asked six times as old as seventh birthday then b is age after 15 years okay so there is a lot of data given so once you read the problem don't get panicked but we can solve it very easily using options method or uh, sorry using ratio method so let us see how to solve it now a is six times as old as b okay a is six times as old as b they are not saying past present future anything isn't it so this means that presently okay presently or always b will be a will be always six times as, now not necessary that uh, even presently also is not necessary because if a is six times as old as b then he will be always six times old as b okay now we know that a is six times as old as b so a is to b if b is one one part a will be how much six parts okay how is that now see here a is six times as old as b it is isn't it six times b so a by b is equal to what six by one so that only in ratio directly i have written if b is one part a will be six parts after 10 years the age of a will be twice the age of c okay after 10 years so this is presently presently means i will indicate using a zero okay presently means i will also always indicate with zero now presently their ratio is 6 is to 1 so after 10 years the age of a okay after 10 years the age of a will be twice the age of c okay again c is coming here now twice the age of c means if c is one part a will be how much two parts okay now see here a will be twice the age of c they are saying isn't it so a by c is equal to 2 by 1 so directly that i have written in ratio form so if C's seventh birthday was celebrated three years ago, okay. C's seventh birthday is celebrated when? Seventh birthday is celebrated three years ago. Is it okay? So three years ago, C was how much? Seven years. Okay. So now presently how many how much he'll be? C will presently how much he'll be? Plus three, isn't it? 3 years ago if he was 7 years so presently he has to uh, he, he will be 7 years elder so 7 plus 3 means 10 years okay c is 10 years now we know that 
between C and A there is ratio of 2 is to 1, isn't it? So, presently C is 10 years, okay, C is presently 10 years, okay, then if C is presently 10 years, then after 10 years how much he will be? After 10 years he will be 20 years, okay, after 10 years he will be 20 years. Now, if one part we know after 10 years the ratio of A and C, if one part is 20 years, then two parts will be how much? Two parts will be how much? 40 years. So, this means that A is 40 years. After 10 years, A will be 40 years. Isn't it? Now, after 10 years, if A was 40 years, then presently how much he will be? Presently how much he will be? He will be 40 minus 10, 30 years. So, A will be 30 years now. Isn't it? Now, we know that A is in parts, A is 6 parts presently. Isn't it? Now, if A is 6 parts, okay, then I can say A is 30 years. So, 6 parts is 30 years. Then B is how much? B is 1 part. So, 1 part will be how many years? 6 1s are, 6 5s are. So, 5 years. Isn't it? So, presently B is how much? 5 years. But we want find the age of B after 15 years. Isn't it? So, at present if B is 5 years, then after 15 years how much he will be? Plus 15 which is equal to 20 years. So, after 15 years B will be 20 years. Okay? So, next problem. Otherwise, let me uh, explain this problem once again. Now, A is 6 times as old as B. Okay, A and B ratio is, they have given in terms of statement. So, how is this that A is 6 times as old as B means if B is 1, A will be 6. After 10 years, the age of A will be twice the age of C. Now, they are giving ratio between A and C and that is after 10 years. So, after 10 years, what is the ratio between A and C? It is 2 is to 1 because A will be twice the age of C. If C is 1, B will be 2 times of C, isn't it? So, 2 parts. So, 2 is to 1 it will be. Now, if C is the 7th birthday was celebrated 6 years ago. Now, to find out B's age, we have to find out C, we have to find out A and then B because C, they have given, directly given C's age. Okay. From C's age, we can find out A's age and from A's age, we can find out B's age. Okay. So, we have to find out in a round way like this. Okay. Now, 3 years ago, if C's 7th birthday was celebrated, now, so presently C will be how much? 7 plus 3, 10 years. So, present, uh, uh, presently C is 10 years, presently. But we know C's ratio after 10 years. So, after 10 years, he is 1 part. So, after 10 years, he is 1 part. So, in age, he will be how much? 20 years. 10 plus 10 is 20 years. So, if C is 20 years, Okay, it means C is one part, one part is 20 years, then we know A is two parts, so two parts will be how much? One part 20 years, so two part will be into two, 40 years, two, isn't it? Into two here, so that means into two here, so B, A will be 40 years, but 40 years is the age of A after 10 years, but we want his present age, so to get present age, 40 years minus 10 will give us A's present age that is 30 years. So, now in parts we know that presently A is 6 parts and in years we know that he is 30 years. So, 6 parts is 30 years. So, one part of B is how much? It is 5 years. But this 5 years is his present age. But we want the age after 15 years. B's age after 15 years. So, B's age after 15 years how much it will be? 5 plus 15 20 years. Okay. Next problem. Raman's present age is 3 times his daughter's age and 9 13th of his mother's age. 
the sum of the present age of all the three of them is 125 years. What is the difference between the present ages of Raman's daughter and Raman's mother? Okay, so what is the data given? Raman's present age is three times his daughter's age. Okay, so Raman is to daughter. Okay, if Raman's present age is three times his daughter's age. Okay, if daughter is one part, Raman will be three parts. This I have told you all in the earlier problem how to take directly in the ratio. So, this is present ratio. Now, and 9 13th of his mother's age. Okay, means Raman's age is 9 13th of his mother's age. Okay, so R Raman by mother will be how much? 9 by 13. So, that is nothing but Raman is to mother. Okay, Raman is to mother is if Raman is 9 parts, mother will be 13 parts. Okay, this is also with regarding to present. Now, the sum of the present age of all the three of them is 125 years. Now, all the three, uh, three people's sum that is Raman plus daughter plus his mother's everybody's age sum is 125 years they are saying. So, what is the difference between the present ages of Raman's daughter and Raman's mother? So, Raman's daughter that is D minus Raman's mother that is M. So, difference between daughter's age and mother's age is how much they are asking. Okay, for this we need to know the complete ratio between Raman, daughter and mother. So, how to get the complete ratio? Okay, now see here this we can uh, solve it by combining the ratio. So, how to combine the ratio? We can combine the ratio in two types. Okay. Now, see here, if 3 is three is the present ratio of Raman and 9 also is the present ratio of Raman. So, that means this part is how many times this part into 3, 3 times. So, 3 into 3 will be 9. So, similarly here, 1 into 3 will be 3 parts. Okay, and mother's uh, is already there. So, 9 is to 3 is to 13 is the pre uh, present ratio of daughter, mother and Raman. If, if this is not clear, we will solve it here. Now, we know daughter is to Raman is to mother. Why I am taking Raman in between? Because we have two ratios of Raman. So, we will take Raman in between. So, it is 1 is to 3 and 9 is to 13, isn't it? So, whatever is number here, write it here 3 and whatever is here, write it here 9. Now, multiply 9 1s are 9, 3 9s are 27 and 13 3s are 39. It cancels by 3, 3 3s are 9, 3 9s are 27 and 3 13 are so, this is the same ratio what we got here, isn't it? So, Raman is to daughter is to mother is 9 is to 3 is to 13. Okay, now we got the combined ratio. Now we know combined sum, isn't it? R plus D plus M is 125 years. So in ratio, it is how much? 9 plus 3 plus 13 is 25. So if 25 parts is equal to 125, because in ratio it is 25 and in years it is 125. So 25 parts, I can directly equate it to 125. So 25 parts is equal to 125. Then we want daughter's and mother's difference. So, don't find out daughter's age and mother's age separately and then take the difference. Directly in the fraction on a ratio only we can take the difference. 13 minus uh, 3 is how much? 10, isn't it? Because daughter and mother's ratio 3 and 13. So, 3 and 13 difference is how much in ratio? It is 10. So, if 25 parts is 125, 10 parts is how much? Okay. So, it is 10 by 25 into 125. So, 25 ones are 25 fives are. So, 5 tens are 50. So, the difference between mother's, Raman's mo daughter and Raman's mother's age is 50 years. Hope it is clear. Okay. Don't take separately. Don't find separately the ages of daughter and mother. Directly, we can take it the difference in the ratio itself. Okay, since 25 parts is 125, then 10 parts is how much? So, 10 parts is 50, 50. So, daughter and mother's difference is 50 years.